All right, how's it going guys? It's time to talk barrels for the Project SPR rifle. Uh, for those of you guys that watched the intro video, you know that uh, my choices are between these two barrels. We've got the Wilson Combat Recon Tactical, and then we have the Noveski SPR barrel. This is a choice that I really need your, your input and your help on because I mean, I'm looking for maximum accuracy and maximum reliability and I'm hoping that uh, by doing this video you guys can give me some input, especially those of you that, that own one of these barrels or have had experience with these barrels in the past. I'm really looking for your guys' input a lot here. So, so what we're going to do is go through and talk about the base stats of each one of these barrels so that you guys can kind of see the similarities between the two and then we'll, we'll go through and talk about the... Uh, the actual pros and cons um, that I, as I see them. And I'll probably put the stats of these two barrels up here in the corners as I'm talking a little bit so you guys can actually see the, the, the stats back and forth. But the Wilson Combat Recon Tactical is an 18 inch barrel. The Noveski SPR is an 18 inch barrel. Both use 416R stainless. Now in the intro video I said that the Wilson Combat uses 410 stainless. It doesn't. It uses 416R stainless steel. So they both have the same steel. Now there are some people out there that say that uh, Noveski actually um, hand picks their steel for their barrels. They also serialize every single barrel so that they, they know exactly kind of the different characteristics of the different steels that go into those barrels. So they so some might say that the 416R stainless that is used in the Noveski is slightly better or tempered better or whatnot than than other 416 R's but so that I don't really know but um, but they're both 416 R stainless steel now the rifling on the the uh, Wilson combat is a 6 R rifling and the Noveski has a 5 R rifling they both have a 5.56 chamber. So this is just a standard 5.56 chamber. The Noveski has what's called a 5.56 Noveski or a 5.56 Noveski Match Mod Zero chamber, okay? And we'll talk a little bit about that here in just a minute. So it has a little bit, sl a slightly different chamber than the Wilson Combat. The Wilson Combat has a one in eight twist rate and the Noveski has a one in seven twist rate. The the Wilson Combat has a mid-length gas system, and the Noveski has an intermediate length gas system. Okay, so slightly different there in the gas systems. I've spoken with the representatives there at, uh, no, at uh, Wilson Combat uh, via email, and they assured me that uh, their match grade barrels, which is what this is, will shoot sub minute, uh, sub minute of accuracy. So they guarantee with, na with match grade ammo that the Wilson Combat barrels will shoot sub minute of accuracy. I have heard the same thing about the Noveski being a match grade gun or match grade barrel should shoot sub minute of accuracy. So, you know, they're both going to shoot under an inch group, but I'm trying to squeeze maximum accuracy out of this SPR build as much as possible. So let's go ahead and talk about the pros of each one of these barrels as I see them. The biggest pro, okay, that I see with the Wilson Combat barrel compared to the Noveski is that it's a 1 in 8 twist rate. I think the 1 in 8 twist rate is by far a more versatile twist rate than the 1 in 7. Um, what I term, my personal term for the 1 in 8 is that it's a hand loader's twist. Okay, it's the hand loader's twist rate. Because you can shoot really a 55 grain bullet up to a 77 grain bullet very, very well in a 1 in 8 twist. A 1 in 7 twist, you're looking at like 62 grain to 80 grain bullets. So you can't really shoot the lower grain bullets with, with the one in seven twist rate. There's different variances between different companies doing different twists. So, so there's, this is a general rule, but uh, like, you know, a 55 grain bullet doing 3,100 feet per second out of a barrel could do roughly, uh, can, can spin roughly 300,000 RPMs. Um, and that's enough, that's enough uh, centrifugal force to actually tear the bullet apart in midair. So there's 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 a lot of there's a lot of of uh, instances where people have actually caused the bullet to grenade itself outside of the barrel uh, because of the centrifugal forces placed on by overspinning the overspinning the rounds. And those little uh, 55 grain bullets definitely have a problem that way. 
And, and that's especially true when you start talking about like a 50 grain um, VMAX or something, something that has a little bit more of a thinner jacket surrounding the bullet. So your, your, your versatility with a 1 and 7 is less than it is with a 1 and 8. And I really think that, that uh, the Wilson Combat gets a plus 1 for its, its uh, twist rate. And that's really what I intended to do as a 1 and 8 in the beginning. And so now, But now that I have this Noveski barrel, it's kind of a little bit up in the air a bit. So the other biggest strength I see with the Wilson Combat is the actual looks of the barrel. I really don't think <laughs> that you can find a barrel that looks nicer than this Recon Tactical from Wilson Combat. It is absolutely a gorgeous barrel. It's amazing. The fit and finish of this barrel is is absolutely top notch. Okay, guys, absolutely top notch. It is it is primo quality barrel. I mean, there Wilson Combat is a fantastic company when it comes to that. They they really do a good job in their in their production, their manufacturing. So that's definitely a plus one is the looks of this barrel. And underneath the handguard, which is what we're using, is that Midwest Industries handguard, um, the SSM M lock. Uh, it looks phenomenal underneath that that handguard. So I mean, it's really going to be hard to not choose the 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 Wilson based off of looks alone for sure. So, okay, now let's talk about the Noveski barrel. Again, these are the these are the biggest strengths when it comes to the actual barrel. Now, the difference in the, the one of the biggest strengths I think I see as uh, with the Noveski is the the 556 Noveski chamber. It is um, according to Noveski himself. He says that what they did was they, they tried to tighten the chamber, essentially, I'm, I'm paraphrasing here, but they t tried to tighten the chamber where it needed tightening in order to increase accuracy, but they kept the chamber open or loose in areas that were required for reliability. So what he essentially did was he designed a chamber that was designed to shoot the uh, 77 grain um, M262 round, that OTM round the military uses at full automatic. Okay, so we're talking about full reliability with, with better accuracy than a 5.56 chamber. So the 5.56 chamber um, is, is like on the, the one end of the spectrum for reliability, where where like the match grade 223 chamber is all the way over here for accuracy, okay? But then it's not going to be nearly as reliable as a 556 chamber. And so the the national or the um, the uh, Noveski, the 556 Noveski is somewhere in between. Then another in between uh, chambering is the 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 wild chamber, the 223 wild chamber, which is again tighter than a 556 to give you more accuracy, but still can shoot the 556 reliably and safely due to pressures. And so I wouldn't really be surprised if somebody cast the the, the 556 Noveski and found that it was very similar to a, a 223 Wild Chamber. I would I would really not be surprised if that was the case. So so this could be as this could be closer to a Wild Chamber than the the Wilson Combat's 556 Chamber. So I think that that uh, we get a plus one on the chamber with the Noveski. The other thing that's a really big um, a big uh, benefit or plus one with the Noveski is the 5R rifling. Okay, so the Wilson Combat has the traditional opposing um, 6R rifling, so it has two two riflings that oppose each other all the way around, okay? And what that does is it actually causes more deformation of the bullet because you have these two high spots inside the barrel that are uh, that are directly opposing each other. And so you get more more deformation of the of the bullet as it goes through the actual bore. Now, the Noveski on the other hand has this staggered rifling, okay? So you don't have that directly opposing lands to 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 deform the bullet more. It also has what's called polygonal rifling, which is instead of having a land that has a hard 90 degree edge, it actually gives it more of a 45 degree angle. So if this is the, the top of the land, this would be the side of the land, and this is kind of like a, like a diagonal cut in the land. So, so you get less 
friction on the rifling, so the rifling should last longer, but you also get less damage done to the copper jacket of the round. So not only do you get less damage from the to the copper jacket from the actual uh, polygonal rifling in there, but you also get less damage because you don't have those uh, those directly opposing lands as well. And so that should cause less overall deformity to the bullet as it goes through the bore and therefore aid in aerodynamics and reliability downrange as well. So I think the rifling is definitely a plus one on the, the Noveski as well. The other thing that I can see is a is a is better on the actual Noveski is that we have this intermediate gas length versus the mid-length gas system on the Wilson Combat. And, and that should equate to less gas coming back into the action and so it'll cycle the action a little slower with a little less recoil and so it should add in a, a better felt recoil and it should cause less fouling inside the action as well because less carbon coming back uh, less uh, less deposition inside the action that you'll get so it should run a little cleaner with a little better felt recoil on the Noveski itself there's literally a four ounce difference between these two barrels this one I think is like 34 ounces and this one's 38 ounces I think uh, I'm just saying that off the top of my head um, the Wilson Combat's actually a little bit wider out here to the muzzle than the SPR is, but it, the SPR is four ounces heavier because you have the fluting that's done to the Wilson Combat. So, so weight, they're pretty dang similar. So as you can see guys, there's very little that separates these two barrels. And and so they're very, very similar, but there are a few things that do, that, that are different, and they can make a, a huge difference in the actual outcome of the SPR. And so I'm not gonna tell you what I'm leaning towards, because I really want you guys at this point in time to, to leave a comment down below and tell me what you guys think I should put in the SPR. Knowing what you know now, knowing the stats, I want you guys to, to tell me what you guys would choose. And if, again, if you guys have personal personal experience with Wilson combat barrels or with Noveski barrels, please leave a comment and let me know what your guys' personal opinion is because I really am having a hard time deciding between the two. I'm leaning towards one, but I'm not going to say anything about it because I really want to hear what your guys' opinions are. And so um, I'm really looking forward to that. And then what we'll, what we'll do is you guys will know what barrel I choose uh, when we go to build the rifle because I'm probably not going to decide until up until I do it. So I really don't think that there's a bad choice. I think that there is pluses again and minuses for, for each of them, uh, but they're two both really top-notch barrels. So anyway, guys, uh, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys, so that you can uh, see the further progress of the SPR as we as we go along for more videos like this. And, uh, and anyway, guys, thanks very, very much for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.